Chelsea won. Crystal Palace nil. It's Potter o'clock. Finally, finally, a victory for Chelsea. Arsenal are currently winning, but that's by the by. Kai Havertz. The Zilky German <laughs> finally gets a goal. Hakim Ziyech with a blinding performance. And, and overall, just a good, good all-round performance from all the boys. I'm, I'm, I'm over the moon. I'm happy. I'm pleased. Um, I feel like we could have killed the game off a lot sooner. 1-0, it's always a little bit nervy, is it not? Um, but yeah. It's by no means is it the answer, as in like uh, we're no we're no longer we're not necessarily back to winning ways. That is for sure. Um, we should be beating this Crystal Palace side probably more comfortable um, than 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 just one nil. But again, I'll take the win. We are now level on points with Liverpool. They have a game in hand over us, of course, but that means that the Liverpool game on Saturday is gonna be big it's gonna be huge um both teams in absolutely stinky form at the moment um both massively underperforming Chelsea I feel like have a bit, bit more of an excuse than Liverpool they do have a pretty much a full side with minimal injuries compared to us but again what can I say Badi Ashil, what a performance from him today. Very, very pleased with how he came on um, uh, and in, in his debut. And, and Well, not came on, but he was already starting. But he, he, he just took it by the, you know, took it by the horns, came in and um, just mopped the place up, more, more, more or less. And um, again, I've said it a few times, he, he made like a little mistake at one point. Um, but it was quickly resolved. It went out for a corner ball, but quick slice of the of the ball and then out for a corner. That was dealt with eventually by the man himself, Kepa Rizabalaga. It was it was a, a really, really good game from him. Um much like, you know, the 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 kind of people that you expect to have. Kai Havertz still didn't show up, but still did because he scored and that will give him some pointers and you know some some points going forward people will be happy that he's got a goal and that will keep people quiet for like a week or two and then he won't show up for a little bit and then the cycle continues um but for me Kepa, Thiago Silva, Badi Ashil, Trevor Chalaba, Conor Gallagher, Hakim Ziyech was class um and uh, I was I was impressed by Chukameka, Mesa Mount and Kai Havertz again. Just I mean Mount more than Havertz, but then Havertz got the goal. Um, it was it, my point being that it was better today than it was in in previous games, and that might have something to do with the fact that we've come across harder oppositions over the last few weeks. Um, I shouldn't be saying that when we're playing Fulham. Um, but but the fact of the matter is Fulham are in a much better situation right now than Crystal Palace. And again, Crystal Palace, we should be beating them like we did. Um, and uh, it, it's it's the second half stink once again. Once again, um, we, we went in first half. Brilliant. Fantastic first half. We were not necessarily unlucky to go in nil nil. Because uh, I feel like well, Crystal Palace had three shots on target. We had one. Um, but much more possession, like we always do. Possession doesn't win games. We know that for a fact. Uh, but the first half, like I mean, both teams played well. Chelsea definitely played better. Um, and then oh, it, we were almost expecting us to down tools in the second half. And I feel like we did for the first couple of minutes. And then we found our rhythm once again. And Chelsea rose to the occasion, finally, um, on, a, on a game where it's our first Premier League home game since the passing of Gianluca Vialli. Um, and we finally, on maybe what is the last chance for us to do so, do so gave Luca uh, a, a, a good send-off. You know what I mean? Not something, something to actually be proud of. We've got a win albeit in this situation, it's Crystal Palace. People are going to say, you should be beating Crystal Palace. We did. We did. It's a matter of fact. Um, but overall, 
Lots and lots of, of, of good talking points. Conor Gallagher, the road runner, as usual, this time actually put his talents to use and wasn't just running around like a headless chicken. Um, Mason Mount probably was more so the, uh, the headless chicken in this particular game. Um, a, a brilliant header from Kai Havertz by all accounts. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just glad he didn't shush the crowd this time. Uh, Mudrick, of course, on a side note, did sign for Chelsea officially during the game. He was announced as a Chelsea player in about the 25th minute or so. He came on at half time, draped in the Ukrainian flag and was shown off to the fans. A very strange deal, but I've had my say. Um, and uh, yeah, I've got plenty more to say on the matter. I said what I had to say during the stream, but I'm sure I'll get my opinion out a little bit uh, later on today. Um, will he be good? I'm not sure. Was, is he worth the money? Probably not. We'll have to wait and see. Um, we didn't need him. <laughs> a lot of people didn't want him necessarily. Uh, I think most people wanted him just to take him off of Arsenal because uh, obviously it was, he was meant to go to Arsenal. Um, but again, I digress. Chelsea won. Crystal Palace nil. We are um, one win better off. Three points better off and a new signing better off, and no injuries, or so we think. <laughs> Lewis Hall went down, of course. Jorginho went down. Thiago Silva went down. There's, there's plenty of uh, players today that could come up with something here or there. But that is all for today's video. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification uh, to be notified of any future content on the channel. If you're watching on TikTok, feel free to follow and like the video. It massively massively will be massively appreciated sorry um but again my name is harry we won finally up the chelsea i'll see you at liverpool and uh peace